This is part 10. We're going into three more long boxes from this $25,000 collection. All right, guys, part 10, it's coming at you. We have three more long boxes. Uh, I just want to remind you guys down below in the description, there's a lot of discount codes for you. Mutant Beaver Comics, Gemini Comics Supply, CoverPrice.com. But then also, please leave a comment. I need two things from you if you don't mind. Number one, we're going to vote on which of the three boxes is the best. And number two, if I miss a key, please write in the comment section down below. Timestamp it with the book, what I missed. And call me dumb and stuff. You know, a lot of you guys do that anyway. It's fine. Um, and then that's it. So uh, without further ado, let's get right into three more boxes here. Uh, part 10, right? Part 10. Three more longs. We're getting there now. Now, now we're, we're putting slight dents in the long boxes. I've got some Drek starting to pile up here. We're going three more boxes. What do you think? Uh, who is that? Robot Man? I don't even know who that is. Snake Eyes. Uh, this is these are Doom Patrol guys. I don't know their names, but we'll go Gambit. Let's go Gambit. We'll just write Doom Patrol and Snake Eyes. Part ten. We've got Snake Eyes. I should do Flash, but we'll just do Snake Eyes, uh, Doom Patrol, and Gambit. We're gonna pull these out of the way. We're gonna start with Snake Eyes. Here we go, guys. Remember, leave a comment down below if I miss something. We're also going to vote. It's brought here. Oof. It's 9,000 degrees. I've been in and outside about 500 times today. Uh, also, you want to leave a comment on which, you know, vote for which box you think is the best. Oh, this is for Scarface. Magnolia cover. Some Flash. Great cover. I mean, that's awesome. Some Flash. Some Flash. Detective Comics. This is modern. Don't be scared, though. Don't be nervous. It's, we're going to start out with some modern. We, well, I, officially we start out with some bronze. Here we go. All right. Move this like this. All right. Now, now we got some bronze Submariner 14, 13. There are some keys mixed in here. I don't know them very well. That's the first Stingray, I believe. Nice bronze. Silver and bronze Submariner. I love this stuff. Great covers. Ooh, Gotham, mm -hmm. Gotham Girls. Gotham Girls. D Legends of the Dark Knight. Detective Comics. Detective Comics. New 52 Batman. We're going to put this run together. Slowly but surely. I'm finding like one every few boxes, but I know the whole run is there. Here's some nice bronze Iron Man. Nice bronze age Iron Man. All under issue 100. Some more bronze, eh, like Copper Age. Here's the first uh, Hulk Buster. More Iron Man, more Iron Man. Probably one of the weakest Marvel titles, actually. I feel like the keys are so few and far between in Iron Man. And the, and the only reason Iron Man's became popular is because the movies have been so, you know, so great. Here's some silver, some bronze. More subby. Bronze Age Subby. Silver. Ooh, Nick Fury stuff. I like the silver Nick Fury stuff. Silver Nick Fury. That's all great. All right. Let's go. Batman. But we're still looking. Oh, I love this book. I love this cover. This is Gotham Adventures number 45. I want this in a 9.8 for my PC. I don't know if this is... This is really high grade. I would keep this book in a 9.8. I, I love this cover. I'm putting that aside. That might be going to CGC. These are great covers too. The Batman Adventures. This one actually has some value to it. Shat uh, first, uh, I always screw this one up with the other one. I think this is the first Batgirl, the Cassandra Kane one, right? Someone correct me. Silver Age, Nick Fury, some more Submariner. So look, another one. So I gotta tell you, we haven't pulled anything major, major keys out yet. But I do like all this silver and bronze Submariner, Iron Man, Strange, or Nick Fury stuff. I love all that. This is All-Star Batman. Oh, more New 52. More New 52 Batman. Again, I'm just pulling this side. Snyder and Capullo. If you haven't read this, do it. Oh, this is the first Duke Thomas. 
Snyder and Capullo will be at Terrificon. Again, I feel like I'm talking about that damn show every every video, but you know, I'm pulling out major books and then I'm talking about the the creators. Ooh, there we go. Batman Adventures. This is Mad Love. And this is in nice condition. I'm gonna pull that one. But I mean I you know it's worth still oh here's spoiler. Stephanie Brown. Oh minor key. Oh, but that is a newsstand. That is nice. That's a newsstand copy. Detective Comics. We want to find 880 in here. This is another run right here. I would highly suggest you read. This is Scott Snyder's first time writing uh, for Batman. It's Detective Comics. But this is the Black Mirror arc right here. Tremendous. Absolutely tremendous. More Detective Comics. More Batman. This is a Batman box. A lot of Batman in here. Here's more New 52 stuff. More New 52 Batman. This is this is another good story. Here we go. Batman Harley Quinn. We're going to pull that one too. This is a Batman box. Should we check? I'll check off camera what print this is, but this one looks like it's in great condition. That's one I need for my PC in a 9.8. Batman Adventures 1. Batman Adventures Annual 1. Uh, some more New 52 here. I'll take those. This is a nice box. I got to say, this is a nice box, but I'm a Batman guy, so I'm a bit biased. Here, again, this is the first Duke Thomas. That's Batman 21 of the New 52. Here's more New 52 stuff. It's about time we put a chunk of that together. Because I've been pulling books here or there. But now we're getting chunks of it. That's a key, too. Again, that's that's the book I was confusing with the earlier one. Look at this. More New 52 Batman. And this is a nice Batman Adventures book, too. I think this is... Yeah, there's some value in that one as well. Oh, this, too. That annual. And this is a newsstand. I don't know if I've ever seen that in a newsstand. This is a nice box, guys. This, this, just, you know, the major keys are few and far between in this box, but uh, collectively, it is a really good box. This is the, this is the second Harley Quinn in DC continuity. I don't know if people realize that. So the first Harley Quinn is this in DC continuity. This is the second significant drop off. This is the first killer croc i believe this is the first killer croc like full killer croc oh we got the fish guns there we'll pull that one this is this is every bit a batman box this is a newsstand copy let's see if this is the error if this is an error newsstand oh it's not the second print second print newsstand on this book in the error is very expensive it's a ghost oh first black mask here's another batman key that I do not have in a 9.8, and I just have to bite the bullet and get it. It's not, you know, it's not a major, major key. Oh, I think this is the first. Is this the first Arkham? This, this, I think this is a minor key. It might be the first Arkham Asylum. I get all these thicker, square-bound Batman hundred-page, you know, books like this. I get them all mixed up. Oh, first modern Deadshot, which is pretty cool. First modern Deadshot. Even though it's Bronze Age, but I don't think you see De Deadshot. Oh, is this? Man, I get these mixed up. Again, these big square bound 60 cent Bronze Age books. There, There's keys in there. Minor ones. I'm sure somebody will let me know in the chat. In the comment section. Here we go. So, Oh, back to back, guys. You have the first Silver Age Two-Face followed by the first Ra's al Ghul. Man, this is a heavy Batman box. More New 52 here. That, again, I can't stress enough. If you haven't read the New 52 Batman run, do it. It's really good. I mean, it's really good. Nice Batman Adventures, All-Star Batman. I really like this box. There's some Silver Age tech. Love these covers. These cover these, these books have value just based on their covers alone. This was a really nice box, guys. We pulled out a couple major keys, but ultimately it's just it's just accumulatively a really nice box just all together when you add it all up. So, all right, that was Man, I don't remember even what one that was. Uh, that was Snake Eyes. Let's move on to the Doom Patrol. Man, you would have thought that Batman would have been on the top of that box. But, all right, we're on to the Doom Patrol now. We'll see. I mean, that box one could be beat. I'll tell you. It could. Let's see if we can beat it, though. All righty. We have Batman White Knight. Great series, by the way. Does have some keys in it, too. We're starting off with some modern. If you paid attention, oh, there we go, some Savage Dragon. If you paid attention, the last box started with a Bronze Age book. So that's Submariner. I have no idea if it has anything to do with anything, but just worth noting. Here's a Bronze Age book. 
Bronze Age Green Lantern, and then back to some modern Hitman, Uncanny Avengers, more Savage Dragon, more Hitman. There are some, some more 12 center here. This is some Strange Adventures, Strange Adventures. It's like early Dead Man. Some Flash, some weird Western tales, some Jonah Hex stuff, some Doom Patrol, some Doom Patrol. Oh, some Bronze Submariner, Astonishing Tales. All right, some 12 cents, Strange Adventures, and then back into some Savage Dragon. I think I said this in a, a few of the videos. This guy put the Savage Dragon run together. So if anybody, you know, if anybody out there knows some major Savage Dragon books to look for, let me know. Be greatly appreciated. Let's pull one more. Let's pull one more little chunk out. All new Wolverine 29, 30, 31, Uncanny X Force. Some more Hitman. Some more Hitman. It is, it is like unnerving going through a collection like this where it's not organized. It's, but it's also, you know, it's fun because you don't know what you're going to find. All right. Um, this has been so far uh, majority, more Savage Dragon. A lot of modern in here. There's nice Deadpool, Hulk. Oh, that's the first Talos. Minor key there, all new Wolverine, Rocket Raccoon, that mini that mini series. Oh, there we go, some God of Thunder. I oh, just one. All right, that's another little run I'm putting together. I'll keep in the PC. Strange Academy number one variant. That's a nice book. It's a lot, I think it's lost a lot of value, but it's still a nice book. Oh, there's there's a minor key. That's the first punchline. We'll pull that, so at least we have something to talk about. Some of these Savage Dragons. Um, might be that's a great Hulk cover. They might be worth something. I don't know. I don't know a lot about Savage Dragon. What I do know is that it's it's probably a low print count because I don't know how many people are reading Savage Dragon. Nice again, nice 12 cent Strange Adventures. Right now I'm leaning towards box one. Nice jungle action, more silver doom patrol. But oh, that also, these two books kind of go together. You have the first appearance and first cameo of Punchline. Modern keys. You know, not really stopping anyone with those. But they're still nice books. And there's still some value. There, There is some value there. Amazing Spider-Man, what is this, King Size 10. More God of Thunder. All right, we could use a big key here. Oh, there you go. That's the second race. The second Flash vs. Superman race, I believe the second one. Silver Age Flash, some Bronze DD, some Bronze FF. Nice little run of Bronze there. Savage Dragon, Avengers, Thunderbolts, Captain Marvel, Early Spectre, Flash 166. Oh, is that the first? No, it's not. Not the first Heat Wave, no. Detective Comics, Terrific, Flash... More, here's a run of my, here's an X-Men 26, all right. Bronze FF, Silver Daredevil, some G.I. Joe, Marvel Team-Up, some Moon Knight, some Thor, Creatures on the Loose. Some more Bronze Cap, Avengers, Tomb of Dracula, Amazing Spider-Man, more Savage Dragon. Good amount of Savage Dragon in here. Uncanny X-Force. Oh, this is the first time, I think the only time, um, Tony Stark... Had the Infinity Gauntlet. Minor key. It went for a lot like when those movies came out. Alright, this this box needs a miracle here. Gwenpool strikes one. This box needs something big. That's a nice that's a that's a minor key, but it's just the cover. It's not really a key. Silver Surfer 15. That's towards the end of the run. Some Thor. Alright, we got a little silver and bronze again. ASM. Man, I don't want to go. After it was tough, man, to follow up that box, but we didn't have. Oh, what is this? Oh, Solar Man, the Animal. Oh, that's a first print. It's not a nine eight. That book is very expensive in a nine eight because of the black cover. But there were a couple ticks on it. All right, this box looks like it's meh. Let's move on to Gambit. Right, moving on to Gambit. Here we go. Are we feeling lucky in this box? Now, again, I do think box one can be overtaken. Ooh, that's an Eerie Tales, number 10. That one we're going to have to look up. 
Bronze ASM. Okay. We are starting out strong here with the Bronze ASM. Uh, this is the clone. Isn't this, isn't this the first... Was it that one? I think it was this one. Is the first Spider-Man clone or the first... I have to look them up. Gwen Stacy. Oh, no. Here's the Gwen Stacy clone. The other one was the first Spider-Man clone. Bronze Spidey. I'm, I'm excited about that. All right. First Gabon. Gibbon. Ooh. We're going down. Maybe we'll find a Morbius. Let's see. 106, 105, 104, 103. That's the second Morbius. 102, 101. First Morbius. We're going to put that one aside. And we'll put the anniversary issue aside too. That is highly sought after. 133. We're going back up to the Bronze Age. Oh, let's see. We'll get to 129. 133, 132. Now we jump to 168. 167. A lot of Bronze Spidey. Bronze Spidey is, is awesome. I mean, almost as good as silver. Bronze. More Bronze. One, six, oh, first Jigsaw. Ooh, what's going on here? There we go. More Bronze Spider-Man. This box is starting off very strong. This is like the Spidey box, and the other box was was uh, the the Batman box. All right. Ooh, this is a lot of Spider-Man. Here we go. Amazing Spider- Oh, what do we got here? Amazing Spider-Man 129. We, I think, have a definitive winner now. This one is probably in the 4-0 range. That is Amazing Spider-Man 129. First appearance of the Punisher. So we have the first Morbius, first Punisher, and that issue 100 anniversary issue. Not to mention the death of Green Goblin and this Hulk book. This cover actually has a, uh, some value to it. The same with this one, these Hulk Spidey covers. They have some value. So we'll put those aside. This box is probably now the winner, especially with all this bronze Spider-Man. Not to mention the keys. I mean, if it wasn't for those keys, I would say we still have a vote going. You know, we still have a debate. But with uh, with those big keys, I mean, this that's it. And look, we're still doing ASM. We're still Bronze Age. There's 182, 181, 178, 180, 177, 176, 174. I mean, this is just, this is a great cover. Great cover. Sinister Six. Well, actually, it's a Mysterio book. I believe it's a Mysterio story. Look at all this bronze Spider-Man. Uh, that is the first Harry Osborn as the Green Goblin. This People say this is the second Punisher. I think it's really more the third, but whatever. Uh, for, is this the first? Yeah, this is the first Tarantula. Silver now. Oh, this is the first Mary Jane cover. I'll pull that one. First MJ cover. So sprinkle in a little silver. That is a hell of a run right there. All that bronze Spidey. And now we go to X-Men. X-Men. Oh, look at that. X-Men number four in a newsstand. First Omega Red. I'll pull that. And now we're back to ASM. But this is the McFarlane ASM. This is 317. Here's 316. Very nice. All right, we probably have a winner now. Here, this is the first Venom cover, kind of, sort of. The head. Uh, this is all McFarlane newsstands, newsstands, all McFarlane newsstands. This is a direct. This is a newsstand. This is a newsstand. This is a newsstand. This is a newsstand. All McFarlane. And now we're back to the Bronze Age. This box is just crushing. Collectively, more X Men. Here's some more ASM now. This is a heavy ASM box. Bronze Age ASM. Here's the first Prowler. That is the first Prowler. And I'm loving this box. Maybe we'll find an ASM 300 or something in here. We'll see. This is a big time ASM box. Holy smokes. Now some Teen Titans. Oh, first Nightwing mixed in there. Yeah, this is probably, the, that's the first Terra. We'll put that back in there though. This is a nice box, guys. This is, and we, then we have some, oh man, we had some Warlock, right? And is this the first Pip? First Pip cover, first Pip. And this, I believe, is another key. That Warlock run has a lot of keys, just not a lot of value. And now we're back to ASM. Copper Age ASM. Newsstand, that's the first Silver Sable. Let's see if we run into an ASM 300. Ooh, we're going the other direction. We're going backwards. I like it. We're going to, oh, that's the second appearance of Black Cat. 
And that's the first appearance of Black Cat. And that is in a really nice shape. That is got to go to... That is in really, really nice shape. First Black Cat. We're still going. Bronze Age Spidey. This is the best box. I This might be the best box we've run into yet in all the videos. There's the drug issue, 96. 98 is a drug issue, and 97. Right? Yeah. More Warlock. More Warlock. Adventure Comics. This entire box is great. All this Spidey. All this ASM. More. Oh, back to regular X-Men. Back to the regular X-Men run. Oh, is that a little better? X-Men. And then back. Copper Age Spidey. You know, you think that Spidey would have been on the cover of this. Oh, right? How about the first Hobgoblin? And this does have the tattoos in it. I know he told me that. Great. This is a great box. This this is probably the best box we've run into. A lot of this Spidey stuff is newsstand, too. Like, that Hobgoblin's a newsstand, which is nice. Jeez. This is all ASM. All ASM. First Hydro Man. Let's move this, sorry. First Madam Web. We'll pull it. First Calypso. Look we'll at all this Spidey. This might be the best box. It's a great cover. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. This is an incredible box here. That was the second Hobgoblin. Second Hobgoblin there. We're going to go ASM right to the end here. Wow. Wild. All right, guys. Let's uh, let's talk about what was pulled out of all three of these boxes. All right. You saw some crazy good books out of the, these three. Well, specifically the first and the last. Let's go through the first. The uh, This was the Snake Eyes box. I don't know if anyone's voting for Snake Eyes. If you're a Batman guy, you are. I pulled the Gotham Adventures 20, uh, 45. This is for me. This is for the PC. I'm going to get it pressed. I'm going to get it graded. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed for a 9.8, and then I'm going to display it. That's going to be a book for me. We had Batman Adventures, Mad Love. This is a great book. This is a, I believe this is an origin story, a Harley Quinn origin story. Then we have Batman Harley Quinn, first Harley Quinn in DC continuity. This is one that I'm going to really look closely to see if I get hit a 9.8 on this, because this is one I don't have in the PC that I'd like to get a 9.8 on. I have the first Harley. I think I have her in a 9.6 newsstand, but I would love that. Uh, we also pulled the Detective Comics 475 with the, the uh, fish guns, the smiling fish guns. We pulled the first Black Mask. That's Batman 386, another one that I do need in a 9.8 in my PC. I'll get to it eventually. We pulled the Detective Comics 474. This is the first modern, even though it's bronze, uh, dead shot because I think he only appears in the Golden Age and never once in the Silver. Then we have two uh, first appearances here. We have the first Silver Age appearance of Two-Face, Neil Adams, and then another Neil Adams cover. Uh, Batman 232, first Raz Al Ghul. So that was the first box. That was our, our Snake Eyes box. The next one was our Doom Patrol box, which was pretty weak. I pulled the Strange Academy 1 variant. Not that big of a deal anymore. And then I pulled the... And these things aren't in great, great shape. Well, I guess the Batman's not, but the Hell Arisen is. The Punchline books. First cameo and full appearance. Now let's get to the stuff that really, really gets everyone excited. I'm going to get... The littler stuff out of the way. Let's go with X-Men number four. This is the first Omega Red. It is in a newsstand copy, which helps that out with value. And then we have the first Nightwing. This I do have in the PC in a 9.8. This is uh, Teen Titans 44. All right, here comes the Spidey. If you guys are Spider-Man fans, here it comes. This is Amazing Spider-Man 210. This is the first Madam Web. Used to be a wall book. Now, not so much, but it'll be my lard put in the box stock. This is a wall book. This is Amazing Spider-Man 238. This is the first appearance of the Hobgoblin. This is a newsstand copy. And this one looks super sharp, man. It's a press away from like a nine. Oh, man. I don't know. We'll let Erod do his thing to that book. Amazing Spider-Man 194. First Black Cat. This is a Milgram cover. Who's going to be at Terrificon? So if you have Amazing Spider-Man 194, which is the first Black Cat, and you want to get it signed, Al Milgram will be there. We have Amazing Spider-Man 78. First Prowler. Or Prowler. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, yeah. First Prowler. 
my head. Amazing Spider-Man 316. This is that McFarlane Venom cover. It's kind of the first cover appearance if you don't count the floating head, but it's just a tremendous cover. Uh, we also have Amazing Spider-Man 59. This is the first Mary Jane cover, and look at her go, boogieing down. We have, um, I took Amazing Spider-Man 119 and 120. I pulled these out too, just because you'd be surprised how expensive these are for in like nice high grades. These whole, uh, these ones are, they're like set, Actually, the 119 is better than the 120. The 120 is probably like a five. No, 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 like a four. But the 119 is higher grade, seven five to an eight zero. Oh. I pulled Amazing Spider-Man 122. It's gonna go really well with that 121 that we pulled pre in like a bunch of videos ago. This is the death of Green Goblin. And uh, three more to talk about. We have ASM 100. This is that anniversary issue. A lot of people collect that. You gotta go, if you're doing ASM, I feel like you gotta collect one through 300 minimum. So that's on the list. Amazing Spider-Man 101, first Morbius, which, you know, just a classic Spidey key. This is a nice copy, probably in the 6065 range, super affordable. And then last but not least, Amazing Spider-Man 129, first appearance of the Punisher. Just this classic cover. And you're probably in the 4.0 range on this one, which makes this one affordable too for that particular book. So that's it. Woo, I gotta go organize now those three boxes and figure out what to do with this stuff. So I'm out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, keep it comics.